Welcome children. Today I am going to teach you 10th class physics last chapter that is the radioactivity. So it is all about the atom and the nucleus. So as children already you have learnt in the, your previous classes about the structure of the atom. So three scientists put forward a theory about the structure of the atom. One is J.J. Thompson. J.J. Thompson. Another one is Rutherford. Rutherford. And at last, Niels Bohr. So what J.J. Thompson told? J.J. Thompson's uh, theory is known as the plum pudding model. Plum pudding model. He told that the electrons are inside the atom as like the plums in a as like the plums in a pudding and or seeds in a watermelon. Then after it is declined, and one of the scientists Rutherford told that the electrons are revolving around the nucleus in in orbits, and the nucleus consists of protons and neutrons, which is present in the center of the atom. But later on also it is declined and Bohr put forward a theory about the structure of the atom. And what he told that? He told that electrons are revolving around the nucleus in the certain orbits that is the K, L, M, L like this. And in K cell, L cell, M cell and N cell a certain numbers of electrons can present. That is in K cell 2 electrons, in L cell 8 electrons. In M cell, 18 electrons. In N cell, 32, like this. And every atom wants to complete the duplet or octet structure. So, these postulates are given by Bohr to for the atomic structure of the atom. So, children, according to him, that the atom number, atom number, atoms of, an element consists of protons, protons and neutrons. Neutrons. The sum of protons and neutrons, sum of protons and neutrons called the mass of the proton or mass of the nucleus. Sorry, not proton, mass of the nucleus. Or mass of the atom. So remember that one. Sum of protons and neutrons consists the mass of the nucleus which is concentrated in a centralized body that is known as the nucleus. Whole mass of the atom concentrated on the nucleus only. And what about the electrons? He told that the electrons are revolving around the or nucleus that is the number of protons is equal to the number of electrons number of electrons and this number of protons are known as the atomic number of the atomic number of an element atomic number of an element so number of protons are called the atomic number of element some of the protons and neutrons are called the mass of the element. And this is all about the your atomic structure. I told briefly. Now our motto is uh, to read what is the radioactivity. What is this phenomenon. Now let us see. So children before going through this phenomenon. Let us demand about the isotopes, isobars and isotones. So what are isotopes? Isotopes are the elements which are having elements which are having same atomic number but different mass number. For example, hydrogen has three isotopes that is the here the atomic number is same that is 111 and the mass number is here 1, here 2. It here is 3. It is called the protium, it is called a deuterium and it is called the tritium. Means the atomic numbers are same and the mass numbers are different. These are the isotopes of hydrogen. Hydrogen has three isotopes. One is protium, one is deuterium and one is tritium. 
like this carbon has two isotopes one is carbon uh, three isotopes one is carbon 612 carbon 613 and carbon 614 so carbon also shows the three isotopes so here also the atomic number remains same but the mass number is are different so this is all about the isotopes but what about the isobars isobars are the elements the opposite of isotopes means your same atomic number but different mass number here same mass number same mass number but different atomic number atomic number for example that is the argon here atomic number is 18 but mass number is 40 and calcium that is also atomic number 20 but mass number is 40. Here atomic numbers are different but mass numbers are remain same that is 40 and 40. So this is all about the isobars. That again I am going to tell you isotones. Now come to isotones. These are the elements which are having same number of neutrons but different protons different number of different number of protons for example sodium and magnesium here this is 11 this is 23 here this is 12 this is 24 so in this case the atoms are same atoms are here atoms are eh, sorry protons are protons 11 and your neutrons eh, protons neutrons that is 12 here protons 12 and neutrons also 12 so this condition shows the isotone conditions sodium and magnesium are the isotones as their proton number are same but your neutron number is different so children this is all about the isotopes isobars isotones now see about the phenomenon of radioactivity so now let's see about the phenomenon of radioactivity so i want to give you some history about radioactivity one scientist that is the henry becquerel henry becquerel henry becquerel first saw the phenomenon of radioactivity so what he did first he left some uranium inside the box and he left it for in a dark room and left for some days after some days he found that that photographic plate was affected then he um, do, did the research about this phenomenon that what happened in these days so that photographic plate affected then he had taken some more uranium salts and did the same experiment that time also he found that he observed that the same thing had happened so from that he concluded that from uranium some of the rays are coming out which affects the photographic plate so this rays he named it becquerel rays b e c q e b e c q u e r r e f becquerel rays becquerel rays so the rays which are coming out he told it becquerel rays after that he observed that it is the different types of rays one is positive rays some are negative rays and some are neutral rays so he named the positive rays as the alpha rays these are the positive rays alpha rays and again some rays are beta rays that is the negative rays and some neutral rays are coming these are the gamma rays gamma rays these are neutral neutral and again he had seen that so these three radiations he had seen in that time so again what he told about this vector address that's their is the integration this integration it is called the emission is called the disintegration the emission of this rays 
or this disintegration of this test at the spontaneous process. Nobody can stop it and nobody can do it. Automatically, these radiations are coming out from some specific substances. These specific substances are called the radioactive substances like your uranium. Radioactive substances like your uranium. So, from these radioactive substances, radioactive rays are come out which is known as the alpha, beta and gamma rays. So, from this rays, he told that this, ra this phenomenon radioactivity come. And he told that that radioactivity phenomenon is a nuclear phenomenon. It is not affected by any physical or chemical changes. And what is the major cause of radioactivity? That when neutrons are become more than the protons, a large number of neutrons are present when inside the nucleus, when inside the nucleus, inside the nucleus number of protons are more sorry number of neutrons number of neutrons are more than the protons very very important thing that number of neutrons are more than the protons neutrons are more than the protons that time what happens the element the nucleus of the element becomes unstable because neutrons are very very large number so automatically that nucleus starts emitting the particles what are known as the vector rays or alpha beta gamma rays this spontaneous emission of the uh, rays is known as the phenomenon of the radioactivity and those substances from where the radioactive uh, radioactive rays are coming out is known as the radioactive substance and the phenomenon is known as the radioactivity so children to, this is all about today's video. The next video, I will teach about the properties of alpha, beta, gamma rays and how the disintegration occurs. Thank you.